let me just rattle off these names, okay? Nayer. Dog. Yep. Bonner. Yep. Borkature. Borkature yep. played well. Fedoni. Dog. Yep. Barney. Dog. Yep. Those it's, are the names that oh, I... Oh, you left one off. Well, I mean, look, Lloyd. It's Jamal Banks. Keelan Smith. Hey, oh, that yeah. dude. He had some nice little grabs. That here. dude. Some tight end room is in good shape. He's got some of his dad in him. Some yeah. of that dog. He kind of showed flashes. I hope that's not just spring game flashes. You look at that tight end room, kind of crowded, but it makes me feel good. Like a legacy guy that gets to sit a year behind two guys with a lot of experience with Fedoni and Borkature. And that's not even bringing up Lyndon Meyer. Lyndon Meyer, Flint. The tight end room is deep. And that was one of those positions where I was like, because eh. yeah. even Fedoni, you know. He looked Listen, good. hot take. Thomas Fedoni, uh oh, at least a second team All Big Ten tight end this year. Mackey, stop. That's too <laughs> okay. hot. Too hot of a take. <laughs> I think Thomas Fedoni, at least a second team All Big Ten, at least. Matt Rule is talking about him a lot in the post game. He's a freak. He's all in. He's a corn husker. Two sixty runs a four five. Thomas Fedoni got in verbal fights when he was younger on the playground with her guy fans. I like him, and that's a guy that over the course of this podcast, skeptical. Best season. abilities availability. Last right? season, I remember we were talking about how he ran like the goddamn Tin Man. Yeah. Yes. We said that. Dude, yeah. he, he does not look like the Tin Man right now. He no. doesn't, man. He, he looks like the Terminator. On, yeah. on that touchdown that probably shouldn't have happened, which is whatever, he looked fast. And then the defender who hit, freaking hits hit him, him in the, the freaking knees. knees. Yeah, that's what Bruh. we need in the spring game. Bruh. I don't know. Oh. Number, I'm sorry, I didn't look at the roster. Number 32. I don't know who that is, but. Bruh, what? Dude. I get it. You're in the heat of battle, right? There's adrenaline. You don't dive at Thomas Fedoni's goddamn knees. Not in a practice. Holy shit. Dylan Ryle, not only does Fedoni need him, I think he needs Fedoni, right? It's it's a symbiotic relationship, these these quick releases, these checkdowns. Or tight end is going to be as important as ever. Don't dive at his freaking knees. He's had two ACLs. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry. I saw that live too, and I I was I screaming. Okay. Watch it. Well, just watching the replay, I'm like, oh my god, he's coming in like at the side. Yeah, yeah. What? Dude, Isaiah Nair, that dude. I, he has a gear. When he g gets running, it's gliding. You he's, know who he reminds lengthy. me of? Quincy Anunwa. Hmm. He kind of. I mean, and he's wearing the same number, so that kind of like clicks in my brain. But like the way he runs, the big body. But he's kind of like sneaky fast. That's kind of how Quincy was. Oh, he yeah. looks kind of slow, but it's like, oh, yeah. shit, he's already at the 20. Like oh, shit, caught, he's at the 10. Oh, against like Georgia when he caught the 99 yard touchdown or whatever. Yeah. It's like, he's just go. He just kept getting faster and faster. Bye. He yeah. just, he just go. He just he go. Just go. <laughs> he makes fast people look not that fast. Like the, yeah. That's how he was. No block, no rock. The perimeter blocking looked really good. Yeah. And that helped Janiron Bonner pop oh. too. Rule says he's a, he's running with the wide receivers, everything else. Yeah. And he still believes. In the NFL, he'd be a great fullback. He's a good NFL fullback. But, but I play him at wide receiver, and I yeah. play him at tight end. Everything. I would hope that Matt Rule is not forcing just trying to figure out, like, how do we get a fullback out there? I think he's a weapon, though. If you have Janarian Bonner out there, you're trying to run fast-paced offense. You're running no huddle. You can put Bonner at a tight end. You can line him up in the backfield. You can put him at receiver. The dude can play at every single position. Fullbacks are dying. It's a dying breed. They're not utilized as much anymore, especially in – college football i mean you see a little bit of him in the nfl so having him as a utility player is infinitely more valuable than there's a lot of fullback talk from matt rule yeah in satterfield last year you don't have a guy then you're Why? not gonna you're not gonna use it janiron bonner is not mike allstott he's not Corey. not even a little bit Schlesinger. he's not he could For, be a kyle use i was gonna say use sure. is literally a tight end he can play tight end he can play fullback he can play running back that's exactly what matt rule is doing can, with janiron bonner can't you see janiron bonner go in the nfl draft fourth round to the San Francisco 49ers. No, because I haven't Listen. seen a Husker get drafted hey. in five fucking years. <laughs> uh, whatever it is. Okay, I said fourth round. We could go to sixth, whatever. But you get my point. Yes. Matt Rule talks a lot about the 49ers and the ovens and positionless. Blah, blah, blah. That's Bonner. That dude doesn't know what his position is. Uh, yeah. He, I mean, he's been doing tight end. He's been doing fullback. He's been doing wide receiver. Like, he doesn't know what the hell is going on. He's just here for the ride. Hey, hey. Iron, you're a wildcat quarterback. Go. Yeah. Hey, I bet he'd do it, too. Yeah. He's bought in. Yeah. He was my personal dark horse pick last year. Maybe I was just a year too late. Maybe this is the year. Where uh, Shanahan and San Fran's looking, and I'm going, hmm, I like him. You know, Jalen Lloyd. Jalen Lloyd's Jalen Lloyd. Right. That dude, he's, he's getting afraid. better. Is Garrett Nelson like Garrett Nelson? Garrett McGuire. Is he is he showing his worth now? Is it like a Matt Rule flex I told you so type thing? Because mm. those receivers, 
they look better than they did last year. This wide receiver room got that speed. I understand a lot of those starting secondary guys weren't in there. I was very impressed with how they ran their routes, and they were just blowing the top off. Garrett McGuire is doing, in my opinion, a fantastic job. If there is organization in the wide receiver room, you should be able to plug and play the wide receivers that you have on your squad. And so if Dylan Raiola is out there and he completes passes to 13 different wide receivers playing on two different teams, the red and the white, there is something clearly going correctly in the wide receiver room under Garrett McGuire. Did he do that? He did do that. Oh, wow. So 13 different receivers and how many completions? Was 16? 16. 16. Wow. You've got 13 guys that knew the routes. Yeah. you got 13 yeah. guys that knew where to be and when to be there. That's got to be some sort of good sign, right? How could you disagree? Yeah. yeah. I left this guy's name out. And he had a very good game on Saturday. Alex Bullock. We're going to talk about Mr. Reliable. Like, that's it. Is he a guy that can greatly benefit from a very good quarterback putting him in positions to be very good? Yeah, I think so. Just like every other wide receiver yeah. in the whole world. <laughs> He's yeah. a safety blanket, right? though. If Rayola needs a guy that's going to just go catch the freaking ball. Could he be a Westy? Yeah, I know he's yeah. white. I know, get, he's white. I know I'm making that comparison. That's a very easy comparison. Get to the to sticks, make. catch the ball. I, I think that's Alex Bullock right there. He's not He's not going to be your yak guy, but he's going to be a guy that's just like, I need third and four. He's going to get me four. You're telling me what I saw out of those receivers when Dylan was throwing to them, that they were average? Just wait till we get good. <laughs> Dylan did a lot with no matter who was playing with him because that's what good quarterbacks do. I think a good quarterback makes just average guys look great, though. That's what Dylan did with some of the second and third string guys. I think he just could be made them look good. Like him rolling out, scrambling to the right, telling him to just go up the field. Hey, there's Ian Flint there, for boom. 20 yards. Yes, that's yeah. just great quarterback play. I'm looking next year, two years from now, if you're a playmaker out there, want to come to a team with a good quarterback, that's going to entice recruits, too.